Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 13th, okay? We have the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is great worry, great fear about giving and receiving. You, they're not getting or whatever. There's great fear. There's worry. Um, anxious. We have somebody here that is uh, worried about what they're getting or what they're not getting. Um, worried about what they're what what they're getting or what they're not getting. I mean, it's clear that's what that is. It's like extremely worried. Am I? Is should I or should I take it? Why am I not getting it? I mean, it could go many different ways. It's about give and take. All right. I feel like we have somebody here that is struggling with, uh, I don't know, it feels like they're not getting something or it could go either way. It could go, it could go either way. Either they're not getting what they want or should I take this? They're getting something. This is giving deep thought to what they are receiving or not receiving, whichever one it is. Um, Thinking about reciprocating, you know, thinking about the reciprocation, whether it's happening or not, they're thinking about it. What should I do? Should I should I give to this situation? Should I take from this situation? You know, giving deep thought to whatever the situation is. Is it worth it? You know, it's kind of like that. Is it worth it? Am I getting am I getting what I deserve from this? Or is that what I really want? You know, that kind of thing. It's giving deep, deep thought to it, struggling, you know. The Nine of Swords is like worried. Is this enough? Is it gonna be given to me? You know, should I keep investing in this? Maybe thinking about a new job or thinking about the money, thinking about the payout, you know, thinking about the value in it of whatever the situation is. Just thinking about the, you know, what am I getting out of this? What am I really getting out of this? We got two online. Oh, eight, three. That looked like an eight, but it's a three. Three of coins. Three of coins. This does have to do with work or a job or skills. Working together, teamwork, creating something, maybe even creating a business. I mean, the three of pentacles is about teamwork, togetherness, uh, cooperation, co collaboration, following plans, creating something, using a skill. Somebody does have a very good skill they have the they're capable of creating something i feel like they're still learning though they're learning new skills right now but this person appears to be very well this person is aged you know so, you, so it feels like we have a wise individual who has some sort of experience behind their back it feels like a decision has been made because it's a three that means a decision has been made a definite action is being taken to work together. This is a this is a card of development and growth and creativity, okay? So I do believe that we have somebody here that is putting in effort. They're working on something, they're creating something, they're working together with somebody, and it do, and it can lead to abundance. I mean, look at that. This guy is creating a big pentacle okay that's a that's that's a golden opportunity right there we have somebody and that is something that you can take to the bank i mean that's money okay it's money so somebody is using their skills and they have an opportunity to create and it's interesting because that six of pentacles is about money as well so i feel like we have somebody is thinking about their investment right now they're thinking about their investment they're thinking about who they're working with they are, they, it feels like there's a definite decision that has been made to work together because threes are no longer indecisive. We go from the two to the three, which is the decision has been made to work together to create abundance because the ace of pentacles is about abundance. So there is a new investment here, but we do have at least one person or maybe even both. I don't know. Somebody is really thinking about, you know, the investment. 
worried. There's some sort of worry here with the Nine of Swords, worried about, you know, is this going to be equal? Is there going to be equality in this? Because the Six of Pentacles is about equality. Is there going to be reciprocation? Am I good? What am I really going to get out of this? Six of Swords. Now, Six of Swords is taking a new approach. So we do have somebody here that is going somewhere. They're moving away from a troublesome situation. They are going somewhere. They're leaving something behind that was uh, rocky, right? They're leaving the troubled waters behind, going somewhere. Um, headed. Somebody is headed. They're headed somewhere. They're traveling. They're traveling. They're going somewhere. They're leaving behind a hostile situation probably or they're, because of the Five of Swords is before that. So somebody may, ha may be making a definite decision to move in a new direction because you know, they're leaving behind some, a situation where there's been obviously trouble. There's been betrayal or belittling or control issues. Somebody or there's been uh, abuse. You know, we think about that five of swords that come before the six of swords. There's been some sort of abuse. Somebody's leaving behind an abusive situation. They have the skills to work with somebody else. Why stay? Why stay there when you can work with somebody else? There could be a golden opportunity here that is happening right now. Anyway, the six of swords is, is about moving to a better place. It's about traveling. It's about getting back on your feet, you know, leaving it, leaving the struggles behind somebody has been struggling with an individual maybe it's even a competitor or struggling with a person that isn't really helping them they've been struggling with a person that is only looking out for number one and doesn't want to help them so i feel like they're moving in a better direction it's like you know what you want to you want to argue with me you want to fight with me you want to win at all costs you don't really want to help with me you don't want to work with me i'm gonna go i'm gonna go work with somebody else or i'm gonna go in that direction Now the Six of Coins is reversed. So the Six of Coins in reversed is an abuse of generosity. It's an abuse of power. It's, it could be getting fired. It could be uh, becoming unemployed. This could be uh, greed. We may have somebody here that is greedy. This is in inequality. Somebody, there's inequality here. We talked about it the, in the opposite a minute ago. Um, there could be even uh, strings attached, you know, some sort of strings attached. Somebody is abusing somebody's generosity or there's something here that is strings attached. Not receiving. <sighs> Ace of Pentacles upright. Ace of Pentacles upright. So this is your golden opportunity. It's a new investment. It's a, it's, it could be a new business. It could be a new job. It's, it's something that you can... It's long-term stability. Somebody is headed towards long-term stability. There's been some sort of inequality. There's been some sort of injustice. There's been some unfair treatment. There's been a lack of reciprocation. There's been a lack of give and take. But this is a new opportunity. It is a golden opportunity for success. Somebody is getting, this is a gift. This is a yes answer. This is a blessing. So this is a new investment, a new job, a new security. It's something you manifested. This is uh, some sort of opportunity. It's some sort of security. Somebody is headed towards something secure, solid, stable, real. This is real. It's huge. And it's, we have a person that has been creating it anyway. It's like they have been creating it. Now they're moving towards it. They've been working hard. They've, they've made the decision to create it. Now we got, this is the outcome. This is it. Here we see the guy creating it. Here it is. This is the abundance. This is abundance that leads to some sort of long-term stability, financial security, financial stability. 
So somebody is headed towards financial stability, but that's, and it's interesting that we, we saw the Ace of Pentacles and that Three of Coins, and we saw the Six of Pentacles upright a minute ago. Now it's reversed. There's been some sort of lack of harmony. Somebody hasn't been giving. They haven't been giving. They've been abused, I think. This is a new investment that leads to long-term permanent, something long-term and permanent. Permanent. We have we go we go from creating to moving on to not receiving, not receiving to a golden opportunity. There's been no reciprocation. There's been no, uh, there's been an abuse. There's been an abuse of power. Somebody has abused somebody's generosity. They may have taken somebody's kindness for weakness. Six of Swords. Page of Swords. Now the Page of Swords is a message is coming. It may not be what you want to hear. Oh my goodness gracious, Page of Swords being caught off guard. Me? The Tower reversed. Whoo, Page of Swords, Tower reversed. Unavoidable. A message is coming. This is unavoidable. Somebody is working. They are working, working, working. It's like they're working against somebody. They're some. They're working against. They're 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 working against somebody who's working against them. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. I don't know if there's some sort of spy or there's some sort of troublemaker here that is going to cause a disruption. Page of Swords is, a, is somebody that is immature, that likes to stick their nose in. They're, this is a busybody. They get their nose in other people's business. So I'm wondering if we have somebody here that is, that is causing trouble. You know, they're causing trouble. Trying to cause disruption. We got a troublemaker here. We do have a troublemaker here. Unprepared. We got somebody here that is unprepared. There's a troublemaker. There's a troublemaker here that is butting their nose in. Tower reversed. Now the tower reversed is some sort of uh, extreme that you never saw coming. There's something happening that you never saw coming. And it's not avoidable. It's not avoidable. Somebody may be moving. The end, because I see the moving and the tower can be moving. You never saw it coming. A message is coming. It may not be what you want to hear. There's going to be a, a shakeup. There is going to be a shakeup. It's unavoidable. You may think that it's avoidable. That's your illusion. Okay. Um, somebody is in the process of creating something. They are creating something. They're working with somebody. Um, Pentacles is a new doorway that is opening. Being caught off guard. Somebody's being caught off guard. There's going to be some sort of disruption. We have a troublemaker here or somebody that is trying to cause problems. Because I see trouble. I do see trouble. Because I saw that Five of Swords. We got somebody here that is trying to cause trouble. This is somebody that is very egotistical. So we do have an egotistical here. This is like an enemy. We have an enemy here that is going to initiate something. This person is going to initiate something. They're going to take an opportunity to cause upheaval. So there's going to be some upheaval. This is a troublemaker that it wants to cause problems. This is somebody that is controlling with the Six of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody that is abusive. Maybe even, you know, this person has control issues. It's like a malice. It's a malice. So we, I do believe that we have somebody here that is going to try to cause some trouble.
Maybe it's at work. I don't know if it is at work. Um, six of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody that is mean. They're just mean. Childlike behavior, trying to cause problems. So somebody here that's trying to cause problems. Judgment just came flying out. The judgment is truth. Truth, it is a life-changing decision. It is the end of things. So something is happening where there's going to be a major ending. And I see that with the tower as well. Somebody is not getting something. They're not getting any reciprocation or they're not get, or they're suffering financially. It's almost like theft trying to Somebody's trying to steal something. It's like take credit for somebody else's work or steal somebody else's money or steal somebody else's job. It's like theft. 6 of pentacles reversed is theft. They're trying to steal something. But karma never loses an address. This is a card of karma. This is a card of truth. It is a card of uh, final decisions as well. So this is uh, being held accountable. Somebody is about to be held accountable for the choices that they make. This is truths being revealed. Um, this is some sort of wake-up call, and I see that with the tower as well. Even if it's in reverse, there's going to be a wake-up call of some sort. Somebody's about to get a wake-up call. Definitely has to do with money, work, jobs. Something about jobs and skills or something. And I feel like we have somebody here that is putting in a lot of effort to create abundance. You know, they're working really, 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 really hard and they're headed in the right direction. But they have somebody that is trying to, that is working against them, that's trying to steal from them or something like that. Six of Pentacles reverse is a power hungry individual that is greedy, that is... Um, I don't know, maybe they're breaking the law. Judgment is right underneath it. That has to do with law, okay? There could be somebody here just breaking the law. They're stealing or they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Um, we have somebody here that is reading something. They're, they are working hard. They're putting in a lot of effort. They're following plans. They're doing paperwork and they're thinking a lot. They're thinking about uh, where they're going, what the next step is, making a judgment call. Somebody is making a judgment call about their abundance as well. There's going to be a major life change. I see it with the tower and the judgment. There is going to be a major, this is the end of things, it's absolution, it is a final decision. So there is, and the three of pentacles is a decision as well. So there's no more indecisiveness, right? I already said that. So we do have a final decision that is being made. This is the end of a trial, okay? If somebody hasn't been getting what they deserve. There has been little reciprocation. There hasn't been any help. Somebody may have even been paying out more than they've been getting. Maybe they've been in a situation where they haven't been getting any equal. There's no equality. The Six of Pentacles reverse. There's no equality. It's like they're not, they aren't getting any. There's no equality, okay? Making a judgment call based on the fact that there's no give and take here. There's no equality. There's no balance. There's a lack of balance in the partnership. So it's like realizing the truth. That's what judgment is. Judgment is about realizing the truth. I mean, that's what it is. And making a judgment call based on the truth. And I do see an awakening here. The judgment is a spiritual awakening. And Tower Reverse is an unavoidable change. It can't be avoided any longer. I feel like we have somebody here that's been working hard on creating their abundance. They've been, they've been dealing with somebody who's working against them by not reciprocating, by not helping, by not giving there's no equality here. I mean, when you're in a partnership and you're living with somebody or you're working with somebody, there should be 
two people working together, not just one person doing all the work and nobody, you know, it should be an equal situation. Um, but anyway, this page of swords is, you know, I think there's a message that is coming or somebody's getting the message or they're starting to see the truth. Okay, this page of page of swords may be like, this is the truth, I know the truth, it's gonna cause upheaval, it's gonna cause chaos. Somebody has been avoiding the chaos, they have been avoiding the upheaval, they've been avoiding the change because of the confrontation. Because of the hostilities that will come with, you know, moving on or something like that. Six of Wands, boy, we got a lot of sixes. So far we've had four sixes. Sixes are about getting your life back on track, taking the next step, headed towards balance and harmony. Now the Six of Wands is about victory after sorrow. So this is like somebody that has been fighting, right? They've been in some sort of battle. They've been in some sort of uh, competition or they've been in a war zone, right? They've had to fight, they've had to uh, fight for success. This is somebody that is a leader that is has proven has proven their uh, skill, has proven their capability to not give up. So we have a very strong-minded individual here that is headed towards success. It feels like they're just about done fighting or they are done fighting, okay? Sixes are done, okay? I'm done playing games. I'm done competing. <clears throat> I'm done fighting. I'm done with the competition. The battle is over. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think that we have a very... Uh, strong, confident individual that is, has made up their mind that the, that they're done. It's like, I'm done. I'm done playing games. I'm done. This is somebody that is strong minded that has persevered. This person has a lot of life experience as well. There's progress. There's some sort of progress that is being made. Somebody is about to make some progress. They are. It's like they've made up their mind. I feel like they've made up their mind. Life-changing decision. Truth. Truth. Honoring the truth. Seeing the truth. Accepting the truth. Releasing. It's a time of absolution. It is the end of things. Making a... I feel like somebody is making a decision based on the truth. Seeing the truth. Um, progressing forward. Somebody is making progress. This is progress. They are headed... I feel like we have somebody here that is moving as well. They're, they're, create, they're going to be uh, changing their foundation. There's going to be a change in a foundation. The tower wouldn't be here otherwise. There could be a fight. But the fight, this, if there is a fight, the fight is going to end. Okay, it's going to end with a bang. You know, it's going to end with a... Uh, Well, departure, because that Six of Wands is a departure. It's like leaving the battleground behind. It's like, I'm leaving it. I'm done. I'm done. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Time's up. Time's up. This season is over. There's nothing left to do but go. There's no growth here. There's no growth. It's unrealistic. This is dissatisfying. Okay. This is delayed success. There's a short-lived success. Somebody didn't get what they, this is a lot. This is like investing in a dead end. Somebody has, like I said, this is a new investment. We do have a new investment here. We have somebody here that's going to be investing in something new because whatever, whatever they have been investing in is no, is, there's no growth. There's no nurturing. It's done. It's over. It's dead. It's a dead end. It's a dead end. There's nothing. There's nothing there. Very dissatisfied with the output. Very dissatisfied with the with the financial uh, reward that didn't come. 
you know, six of pentacles reversed, judgment, then seven of pentacles reversed. That's that lineup. It's like not getting what you thought you were going to get. Somebody's not getting what they thought they were going to get from an investment and they have a golden opportunity to invest in something even bigger, but it will take courage and confidence to stop competing and playing games and stop fighting for, you know, you might have to step outside of a battle zone that you have been engaging in you may have to surrender if you think about that six of wands it's like i'm all done but I, but the six of wands is also winning it's like winning it's like the battle is over it's like winning so somebody and we may have a winning here the six of wands is right next to the ace of coins so that could be a winning this is definitely a win okay if you if you find your courage and your confidence which is the six of wands to move forward you will win you will win. But if you stay in this dead end, well, that's your judgment call. You have to make the right judgment call. You won't get what you deserve. You have to be willing to put in the work to create your abundance. You have the skills to create your abundance, but you have to make that decision to do so. And it will require moving on from the um, one-sided situation that you have been playing with the playing with okay the six of wands is, is kind of like the five of wands which is game somebody has been in a situation where there's no reciprocation but now they're going through an awakening they're making a major life-changing decision with judgment that is what that is judgment is also ruled by pluto okay and pluto is death okay so we do have an ending here okay we do definitely have an ending here it's the end of a situation that has no growth that's right underneath it there's no growth it's a dead end okay it's the end of a situation where you can't get anything out of it okay it's not the only thing to do now is to plant those seeds someplace else because the ground isn't fertile where you're at there's no fertility there okay it's it's the season is over that season of your life because judgment is about life death and life that season of your life is over Okay, you need to stop playing games. And if you want to get your life back on track, you've got to be willing to put in the effort, learn new skills, do things, and work with other people and move on from the troubled situation. So, yes, I do believe that there's some sort of unavoidable change here. It's been avoided up until now. I do feel like we have a troublemaker. This troublemaker may be saying something to cause problems. This is what the universe has happened, okay, caused it to happen. Maybe it's the catalyst for change. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. This is uh, painful. Extremely painful. We got somebody here that is suffering. Obviously, they are really, 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 really struggling. We're ha this is like a nightmare. We got somebody here that is really, really in their head. They're struggling. They are uh, having a very hard time with their current situation. I can't do this anymore. That's what I see. I, I really feel like I can't, this is I can't do this anymore. This is this is too much for me. This is like a breakdown. And the tower reverse is a breakdown. It could be a mental mental breakdown or a physical breakdown. This is the death of a situation. It is. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. This is it is. Something is over. Going down a new path, going through a new doorway taking a golden opportunity. This is no place to be making a life-changing decision. Somebody is making a very big life-changing decision right now. They're not getting anything. They're not getting any reciprocation. I don't know if they've lost a job or they've lost money or they've lost it all. They've lost something big, 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 maybe even a home. Um, I also feel like we have somebody here that has invested in something and that's what's held them back. It's like I invested so much, I'm going to have to leave it behind. Anyhow, um, this is the end, okay? It is the end. Good luck.